name is Sarah Thomas. I'm an abdominal imager at Duke Radiology in Durham, North Carolina. Hi, my name is Anusha Naipangli. I'm also an abdominal imager um, and I'm a staff radiologist at the Mass General Hospital in Boston. Today, we're going to be discussing our point counterpoint articles in AJR. Our topic is CT versus MR enterography. For background, Crohn disease and ulcerative colitis are common inflammatory bowel diseases affecting adults and children worldwide. A combination of history, laboratory testing, endoscopy, and imaging contribute to the diagnosis of IBD. Current guidelines advise the use of imaging, either CT or MR enterography, to establish the initial diagnosis and to evaluate for healing or persistent inflammation in patients on treatment. Imaging findings of inflammation have been shown to strongly correlate with histologic signs of inflammation and drive treatment decisions. Given the limitations of endoscopy, imaging plays a central role in evaluating for small bowel disease, mesenteric and perianal involvement, as well as for complications. The point side is CT enterography remains essential to imaging patients with inflammatory bowel disease in the acute setting. CT enterography technique involves the use of neutral oral contrast agents with attenuation less than 30 Hounsfeld units, as well as intravenous contrast for optimal evaluation of the small bowel. Images tend to be obtained 50 to 70 seconds after IV contrast for best small bowel enhancement. We image patients in the supine position and typically our exams take less than a single breath hold to obtain. Some advantages of CT enterography include that the acquisition is very short, taking a matter of seconds versus several minutes with MR enterography. This allows for decreased motion artifacts and there are decreased artifacts from bowel gas. Images tend to show less variability across scanners and locations. Sagittal and coronal reformats are easily obtained by either the technologist or the radiologist at the PAC station without additional time or image acquisition required. Modern techniques such as iterative reconstruction and reduced KVP have allowed for less radiation exposure from these exams over time. CT is very widely available, including in the ER settings and at night, allowing for greater radiologist familiarity, which has been shown to lead to higher levels of inter-observer agreement across exams. These are some example images from our CT enterography technique. On the left, there is a coronal image showing a dilated small bowel segment with fecalization with a downstream area of luminal narrowing, bowel wall thickening, and mucosal hyperemia together demonstrating a stricture. The image on the right is a sagittal reformatted image going straight through the plane of the allele sequel valve, demonstrating this long segment of terminal allele involvement. Some additional advantages of CT enterography are shown here. CTE tends to be preferred in the acute setting and is recommended as the first cross-sectional imaging exam in patients presenting acutely with IBD, particularly those who are over 35 years old. CTE may better assess for emergent pathologies such as bowel perforation, pneumoperitoneum, abscess, and penetrating disease. Up to a third of patients with Crohn disease may present with obstruction, perforation, or abscess in the emergency setting, highlighting the advantage of using CTE in this setting. CTE may show better visualization of the mesentery, ready to pick surgical material, and abnormal small foci of gas that can suggest fistulae. CTE also gens tends to, in general, be more comfortable for the acutely ill patient as the exams are obtained quickly in the supine position in one breath hold. My counterpoint is that MR enterography is the primary imaging modality for assessing disease activity and therapeutic response in both pediatric and adult patients with Crohn disease. This is a specialized technique for small bowel assessment, in, again, in both pediatric and adult Crohn disease patients, and MR enterography can serve as an imaging biomarker of Crohn disease activity, as this has been validated against endoscopy as well as histology. This is, these are um, the MR enterography. This is the technique that is performed at our institution. 
adequate small bowel distension using a large volume of non-absorbable oral contrast material consumed over 45 to 60 minutes before imaging is the key to a successful MRE. After obtaining triplane localizers, we obtain coronal T2-weighted sequences, which provide an abdominal overview and assess bowel caliber and wall thickness. We obtained, we obtained cine images, which allow us to look at bowel motility and distinguish between fixed strictures um, as well as uh, differentiate under distended from inflamed small bowel loops. We also obtain axial images with fat T2 weighted axial images with and without fat suppression, as well as diffusion weighted sequences in the axial plane using a B value of 50, 800, and 1000. Diffusion weighted sequences allow visualization of bowel wall edema um, and extraluminal fluid collections. We typically administer intravenous contrast. Um, and obtain pre- and post-contrast sequences. Contrast-enhanced imaging, particularly in the enteric phase, which is about 50 to 70 seconds after, uh, after starting injection, is helpful for assessing disease activity in the form of mural hyperenhancement, vasorecta engorgement, as well as to assess penetrating disease features, including sinus tracts, fistulae. Um, post-contrast imaging can also help detect abscesses. Because of concerns regarding potential tissue deposition of intravenous gadolinium contrast material after repeat administration, MR enterography examinations are increasingly performed either without IV contrast material or with the macrocyclic contrast agent during follow-up in patients with established disease. Some advantages of MRE over CTE include lack of ionizing radiation, um, therefore, no cumulative radiation exposure for long-term monitoring of patients, um, of Crohn disease patients. Superior soft tissue contrast, thereby providing better um, assessment of inflammation as well as tissue composition. Bowel wall enhancement kinetics and motility can be assessed by this imaging modality. Mm -hmm. uh, these sequences also enable assessment of disease activity and it has been shown that disease activity as assessed on MR enterography has been correlated with disease activity on endoscopy. And this is the basis for quantitative MR enterography activity scores. Uh, in general, MRE is better than CTE for detection of fibrosis. However, accuracy is still, uh, as compared to pathology, is still being established. To decrease reader subjectivity, and enable use of MRE to provide objective quantitative assessment of Crohn disease activity, several validated MRE activity scores have been developed. These are currently in use in clinical trials um, of new Crohn disease therapeutic agents. Of these, the MARIA score, which stands for Magnetic Resonance Index of Activity, is the best validated. Now, mucosal healing is an important end mark for therapeutic response. Um, and reversal of mucosal inflammation, which predicts long-term clinical remission, um, is an important histologic and endoscopic therapeutic endpoint. MR enterography shows high performance for assessment of mucosal healing. In terms of future applications, perhaps AI can be used for automated intestinal segmentation um, while performing MR enterography. Radiomics and deep learning can be applied to MR enterography as well as patient data combination in order to predict Crohn's disease progression or treatment sensitivities. So in summary, CTE is an essential tool in imaging patients with inflammatory bowel disease in the acute setting given wide availability, tolerability, and ready depiction of emergent pathologies. However, MRE remains the primary imaging modality for evaluating and monitoring patients with inflammatory bowel disease and future innovations should add even more value to MRE in patient care moving forward. But the reality remains that CTE and MRE are complementary assessment tools, providing crucial information to inform treatment decisions for patients with inflammatory bowel disease. We also invite you to read our articles, the full version of these articles that are published separately as point and counterpoint. And thank you for being with us through this introductory video.